buddies, uh, this is Tom. Uh, I'm doing a crawler conversion on a Turnigy airplane motor. This is a uh, D3548-4, 1100 kV motor. These are great crawl motors. They have 14 armatures and 12 stators. Uh, really good low end control and everything like that, but the problem is, is we have to get this shaft from here to this side. And uh, hopefully this will uh, go nice and smooth and I can do this in one take. Anyway, I used uh, a 1 16th inch bit. I've already loosened up the grub screws, or some of you might call them, uh, uh, ah, hell, I'll just go grub screws. Anyway, it's already loosened up. And then, uh, and then I got to take this C-clip off of here. Once the C-clip comes off, you don't put it back on. No, oh, this ain't working out very well. All right, there goes the C-clip. Anyway, it doesn't matter if you tear it up or not. It's not going to go back on there. And get the little spacer off of there. And this motor pulls right apart from there. Just like that. Okay, we'll just put this over here. Get you a socket. It's going to go right here. It's going to go over that, so it's going to protect this from being pushed in. Uh, I've been using my, uh, my drill press and uh, pushing this through to the other side. Uh, you don't have to use a drill press, you, but you got to make sure you support that aluminum and you could lightly tap it. Anyway, we'll see if the drill press works again. I already used it earlier. Here we go. So that was uh, uneventful, which is always good. And uh, just slide this back in. Watch those fingers because it likes to get the fingers. Turns nice and smooth. You don't see that you don't need the C clip back in there. And the last thing you need to do, which I won't show on video, is you need to take a Dremel tool and a cutoff wheel and put your notch in there for the pinion. And these are five millimeters, so you have to buy new pinions. The same size pinion gear that goes on the Summit 775 Titan motor will fit this. And uh, that's about it.